have to sacrifice creature. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I could have been nicer, I know. Okay, so this was a more interesting game. So this is probably going to go in the video. Uh, I'm not going to keep the guy wasting any more of his time. That's fine. How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video we're going to be playing Midweek Magic, The Gathering Foundations Constructive. I picked three decks for you guys that we will use. We will get the win from each single deck. I will leave the website where I found those three lists in the description. Everything will be fine for you guys just to go there and, and export it to your arena and just enjoy or pick another list from the website and enjoy it that way. Before we jump right into this, I want to just do a quick disclosure. Uh, I made a poll. I'll put the poll on, um, on screen for you guys, but I made a poll yesterday on my community tab whatever on youtube asking if you guys would like to see my normal pack opening on arena that i usually do when a, a new set comes out plus a little chat with you guys just to you know do something different and bring content to the channel that hopefully you enjoy as well you all said you all <laughs> i didn't have a lot of votes but the majority voted for yes so that will be coming out obviously just probably not today because today midweek magic came out and i really want to bring this as quickly as possible so today's video will be midweek magic and then either wednesday or thursday the pack opening will come out okay so that's it i will just show you the three decks i chose and then we'll we will immediately go into the into the game please so let's just see the three decks i have here i have i guess i have four but what i chose was uh mono black combo cat simi cram you're gonna see a quick showing of the list as you can see we have only cards that are featured in the foundation set this is the type of uh, midweek magic where you can use every single card in the set you don't need to own it because i don't have four bloodthirsty conquerors four simulacrums i don't think so it's a pretty cool little uh midweek magic in order to you know learn a little bit more about the set and try different things so this is the cat one uh, i just thought this looked fun <laughs> so i'm gonna be bringing this one and a simi ramp Deck that looks very 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 fun as well with loot the card that i showed in the um, in the fan mail uh in that chart i made sire of seven deaths seems like a freaking great card vivian reed uh you know a bunch of other coma world leader seems pretty fun so i'm not gonna waste any more of your time let's jump straight into the games Okay, so after playing, what, two, three games maybe, and being completely blown out of the water while playing this stupid cat deck, <laughs> I decided to make a couple changes uh, and see if it works a little bit better. I think it will, but who knows, right? <laughs> um... I think I'll take that one out actually. So Leon and Vanguard will help us with the life game, which was something that was clearly lacking in the original list. Like you have four bridesmaids, a Johnny's bridesmaids, and you're not playing any life um life link uh, creatures or life gain or whatever you want to call it. Like that makes no sense. But this is conditional. Conditional is true. But it does help. So let's see if we get to show it off. Yeah, I don't think we will. <laughs> but it's fine. Two prideful parents is not great. But we'll get three creatures on the battlefield. Gain one life. And this is now a 2-2. So we're starting to build up a ward. Our opponent did nothing. I'm just going to attack. Gain another life. And you know what? Let's play Prideful Parent. 
So I think either our opponent is getting a minus screwed or um, he's confused. <laughs> okay, so it was minus screwed. I will attack with everything, I guess. So two, four, six, seven, eight. At most, I'll get to deal ten. If he blocks one of the cat tokens, I will use the celestial armor to kill the light priest. Because why not? It's one less um, one less thing we have to deal with. So let's see. If our opponent has a response, one act, and we got the first win. So a couple changes really made the deck perform a lot better. I have to say our opponent seemed a little bit minus screwed, but let's leave the match. I'll, I'll talk you through the changes. Let's see what card we got, and then we'll go to our second, uh, our second play. So this doesn't really matter, that's a little bit better, let's see if we got something decent, so it's only a rare, Razor King, Needlehead, meh, good, but nothing I was too crazy to have in the collection. So, what I did was, basically I had the two Regal Caracals, I took out one Felidar Savior, added one I think Felidar Retreat, not sure if one or two, I took out one Arabo. Um, one prideful parent and we got two and I took out that uh, vanilla lion that I don't remember the name right now uh, it's this one, savannah lion, vanilla creature savannah lion <laughs> and put in four leonine vanguards uh, you know like this card gives plus one plus one and lifelink to other cats plus tokens Felidar Retreat can create tokens or buff my creatures. Felidar Savior has um, lifelink. Uh, Adabo is a legendary. That's the only reason I took one out. Because it's a pretty good card. And Leonin Vanguard makes you gain life. So it's perfect for the strategy. Anyway, let's get into the second game. Okay, so let's try our mono black combo deck. Um, I've changed the list a little, just like with the first one, because it sucked. <laughs> no, it didn't suck, this list is pretty decent, or at least it looks like it, but... I played a game, I had, um... What, like, 12 lands? Because they put 25 on the deck, so I changed it to 23. I took out one Pilfer, and I added one the rest, just so, you know. Just to see what's up with our opponent's hands. Um, just like I'm doing now. <laughs> okay, so... Mm, the only creature is this. Mm, I'll take the creature. Why not? Still a couple turns for Felidar Retreat, doubling season is even more turns, so... The day, Danny, come on! I'm just kidding, I, I promise you, I'm not, like, a bad person. I just like to say stupid stuff. Okay, so our first flying death touch lifelinker on the battlefield. We are pretty much perfectly on track for Lilian on turn 6. We're in our turn 4 and we already have enough mana. Another one. Another one! This is pretty, pretty good so far. I would take a Phyrexian Arena next turn. Extra draws, draws would be perfect. Bloodthirsty Conqueror wouldn't mind that either. So our opponent is with three lands and a bunch of expensive stuff. I would say he's gonna play Felidar, but so four, five, six, four, five, six mana. We have Liliana Dreador General. This card looks amazing. I would love to have this card in my collection. 
don't even know if it's expensive or not. Finally, we got something good. Okay. And we're getting a lot of life. A lot of life. So that is pretty, pretty decent. Okay, pacifism kinda sucks. Oh, a charming prince. Okay, let's go with uh, Liliana. There's nothing my opponent can do, he's gonna lose both creatures. Because it's him that's choosing to sacrifice both creatures, not me. Unless he will use... Okay. I'll sacrifice that and that. I should have attacked first, but... All good. I forgot about the both players part, but no worries. That was a blunder on my end, but I'm still feeling pretty confident. This was... Yeah, this is to double effects. Okay, old simulacrum right now. I'll go get another land. Look at this. Look at this. I'll create a zombie and I'll attack. So far, so good. If needed, I'll trade one Liliana for the other. <laughs> if I need to go with the minus four again. Let's see where our blood. Our player, our opponent decides to do this, yeah, this turn. Hey, like I said, so far so good, a lot of mana, we're, we're talking 9 lands either way. But, it's better than 12. Okay, I will draw a card, I'll take it. Another simulacrum isn't great. <laughs> I'll have blockers, but... Nothing more than that. My opponent has something. That seems pretty obvious. And for the looks of it, I felt like it was an instant. So maybe it's even another one of those. Okay. That's fine. He was forced. I'm going to attack with the simulacrum to see if he blocks and I'll get a, a card. That's fine. I'll get two cards actually. Phyrexian Arena and another land. The land isn't great. Let me go get another one of those and I'll just play everything because why not? I can, right? So I will thin out the deck a little bit more. Now, Felidar Retreat is doing something, for sure. A lot of work is being put into the backs of uh, Felidar Retreat. Let's go get more land, why not? More land, more cards. What am I talking about? Well, we got more land too, but... Okay, so all the land in the world. As per usual, now I can. I think I know. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack first. I doubt he blocks. Well, he did. That's fine. I'll draw. My Completely ridiculous, but I have pretty much all the land in the world. I will go with that. I will create a token. And he has nothing in hand, so I'm not gonna... I was going to, you know, take out this trade one Liliana for the other, but since I have a, a blocker, I can use it to block, to draw cards, and I will just uh, see if that... Uh, 
what that will give me. We kind of need something good, like uh, another Conqueror, more Vampire Night Talks. I don't think these these decks were like super cleanly built, but you know. Yes, I will block. I will draw. The stab is decent. I'll take that one out. I'm drawing two more cards. So much land. This is crazy. I will minus four because why not? I have nothing to to do. And uh, yeah. Don't need to do that. <sighs> I always draw at least one land. You see how crazy that is? Okay, that wasn't great. Well, there's no need for me to do this. He's gonna focus all of his attentions on Liliana. Our opponent has all the land. That's that must be nice. Uh, okay, what should I do? I will let him do that because there's no point. Okay, that's perfect. That's not. But okay, so I could do this. No, I couldn't. Yeah, I think I'll just attack. I doubt he block. Okay, he does. I don't know why. Well, he doesn't have a lot of life, so. Now I will. I'll, I'll only have five after this, but that's fine. I'll just end turn. Right now, the rest is a dead card. Okay, that's perfectly fine for us. I will gain a lot of life. More land. I will kill that one. There is no point. There is no reason to, but there is no point not to kill him either. So, another Liliana on the battlefield. And I will just swing, hopefully. Um, we're still making pretty good time we have 24 cards so we're still in front of this okay i figured it was a pacifism no lands for the first time in i don't know ever okay yes sure doesn't really matter and i'll just attack Right now the thing is let's let's just go as wide as possible, right? Because we have things to kill our, our opponent's creatures. We can uh, minus four Liliana, we can Hero's Downfall, whatever he puts on the battlefield. Like we have six on the board right now. I don't think there's a lot our opponent can do, to be honest, but he is trying, and I commend him for that. Cue the elevator music. <laughs> okay, our opponent is back was only one card so uh he's still gonna get the card but i don't mind i'm still gonna take it out take him out if it's land okay it's not so that's fine come on ah, another liliana god damn it i was hoping for uh well i'm just gonna swing with everything let's see what he blocks that makes sense, not to give me any more cards. 
And uh, more cards. <laughs> more land. Let's create another zombie and, and turn. Hopefully it will uh, be enough for our opponent to realize that there's no way out of this. It wasn't. Okay, the draws weren't that great. I will just do this, why not? Let me draw <laughs> another card just for the, the fun of it. I mean, I'm gonna draw three more cards, so that's kind of crazy. <laughs> and we got the win. Good game. Can't really complain. The deck performed much better this time. I think that for the first... The cat deck, I think we won on the fourth game after I made the changes. So we played three with the original deck list. I made the changes and we won, I think. And then this one was two, and then I made the changes. No, one game we lost, I made the changes. We lost the other, and then we won. So four games for the cat deck, three games it took us to win for the mono black combo deck. Let's see what card we get, and then let's see how the um, Simi Cramp deck uh, performs. Hopefully better. Because this... Oh, I get another rare. That's awesome. Brass's Bounty. I'll take it. I'll take it. And... Still a rare. Terrian's Journal. Yeah, Not a fan. Let's get to the Simic Ramp deck. And uh, see how it performs. If by the end of this game you don't see us claiming the, um, the card style is because we actually won before but the game wasn't that interesting so i decided this isn't a great end but i'll keep so i decided okay let me see if i can find a more interesting game usually in midweek magic i just play and if the game ends at uh, one second because the opponent just quits that's what you'll see or at least i'll tell you that that happened uh, because there's no point in playing if we already got the rewards, at least not in my book. This one is a little bit different because this kind of uh, midweek magic, because we're talking about a new set that just came out um, that lets you build... Uh, let me just see this. Um... I'm not going to witness protection and I'm not going to do that, so I'll just pass turn. Uh, it's a new set that just came out and it lets you build with every card that's available. I was, admittedly, by lack of time and other situations, a little bit lazy. I just went and looked for um, three lists. Unfortunately, didn't find anything that great. I can tell you I've played against better lists. For sure, 120,000% uh, better lists. But, with that in mind, I also know that... Uh, I decided to do this because flying Death Touch lifelink, that would be crazy to deal with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, next turn Como will come in and Ward 4, etc. might be good enough to <coughs> at least crack this once and create for three three serpents let's see okay of course <laughs> uh yeah plus elvish regrower will let me obviously um get this coma back into my hand anyway what i was saying um this one's a little bit different in my book because we can just build decks as much as we want and try them out and try and find like a meta but it, at the same time it's like you have a limited pool of cards so I don't know if that's actually that you know that if that's a great thing actually because with the limited pool of cards you also you're not gonna know what the meta is either way you know so, okay, let's let's start creating some tokens. Let's start having a little bit of fun. Anyway, that's exactly why I wanted a, a better game, and so far we're getting it. Very happy with that. At least we got to see 
como world leader do something once. <laughs> okay. I need to sacrifice a creature. But I don't need Lanoir Elves anymore. It would be hilarious if I sacrifice Coma. Uh, I don't understand the logic of that attack. Uh, I will attack with everything right now. Because I'm going to create four more. So there's no point not to. And, uh, okay, I guess our opponent wants to almost die, that's fine. And I'll just kick this and go get two more lands. And I'm pretty sure we won, but I'm keeping the Elvish Regrower in case we lose everything and need to rebuild again, because Como will be uh, coming back. I have to sacrifice a creature. I'm sorry man, I could have been nicer, I know. Okay, so this was a more interesting game, so this is probably gonna go in the video. Uh, I'm not gonna keep the guy wasting any more of his time, that's fine. So, here we have it, the four wins we wanted, or the three wins we wanted. Uh, these were the decks, now... A little tip for you guys, if you really want to have fun, build a deck yourself. Like, you can go to the website that I will leave in the description and you can take ideas. That's what I should have done, actually, so I apologize for that. But, you know, enjoy the deck building aspect of this. Learn how to deck build if that's something you want to learn. This is a perfect opportunity if you need to practice that a little bit more, you know. Anyway, guys, this was the video. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything that uh, you feel like doing for the channel helps a lot. Uh, again, thank you so much for the, all the views lately. I really appreciate that. Also, the subs and, and comments, even comments. I've been getting some comments lately and it's awesome. I really like responding to, to you guys, even if the comments aren't as positive. Luckily, I haven't had that many bad experiences which is fantastic um but yeah this is it let me know if you enjoyed the video and i'll uh, see you on the next one